So just to give you an idea of what other people have done uh, in this area, uh, Storm in Los Angeles, and so they are uh, from the University of Thessaloniki in, in Greece. They've been they're, uh, quite well-known open source researchers. They've been studying Debian for quite a while. Uh, part of their study, well, this particular paper involves social network analysis of mailing lists in, in the Debian uh, community. They studied three different uh, mailing lists and how some people are active in one but not another, and how some are very active in a couple, uh, making them knowledge brokers between different groups. They also did a survey asking people what made you, what, you know, why are you contributing to, this, to these mailing lists? Why are you responding to queries? Why are you uh, uh, doing, doing work? Uh, and uh, I think one of the top reasons that was cited is that uh, they, they wanted to, they were maintainers of some modules or some, some projects within the community, and they wanted to get user feedback. They felt that the mailing list was one of the best way, communicating with people on the mailing list was one of the best way to get feedback. Uh, and a lot of these uh, contributors also felt that their work was important to the project uh, in the sense that the project's survival or health depended on their uh, involvement. And they, they probably had some other vested interest in the project, whether you could have used it in a business or uh, uh, could have depended on it for, for, for the career and so on, reputation. So, so it's something that they had a vested interest in. Roberts, Han, and Slaughter are from Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, they studied Apache, the uh, web server project. They, they identified something which a lot of open source researchers have identified, which, uh, which is that open source communities are formed uh, and grow based on concentric circle layers. So you have typically, you know, just a few core members, links, the core is usually very densely linked. Everyone's kind of linked to everyone. And you have like an inner circle, outer circle. And as, as an open source community scales, uh, more and more concentric circles form around, around, around it in the core with uh, progressively less dense. Yes, you have a question? Uh, not in most projects. Uh, in most projects, the, 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 there is a relatively stable core. Uh, there is a lot of turnover, especially at the outer layers, in terms of the, the actual names of the people. Uh, but the structure remains similar. Uh, but in terms of the names of the core members, there are usually a few long-time members, and, and they, they kind of stay for, for a long time uh, in, in the network as core. Uh, so uh, the other thing that we find in open source projects in general is that 80% uh, of the work is done by the few individuals in the middle. Uh, but but the contribute that's not to under understate the contribution done by the rest because there's a lot of testing work, a lot of uh, feedback, and so on. I mean, all of which contribute to a very healthy uh, product community. But but I mean, in terms of actual lines of code, it's not significant, or, or lines of documentation for that matter. Um, yeah, and, and so the layers con do correlate with the code contributions. That's one other thing that's discovered from this paper. Uh, more recently, we have Matheson uh, is a wiki consultant from Australia, and he did uh, an analysis of a wiki. The wikipatterns.com is a wiki created by the wiki community to record or to record or to share patterns of wiki adoption and implementation that have been proven to work and not work. So, um, so what he did here is to generate a social network of the contributors to a wiki by considering who co-authored pages with other users. So, If you have a bipartite graph, uh, basically you have page one, and then you have user one and user two who co-authored, who both edited page one, and you have page two, which is where user two and user three and user four are uh, edited. So you have, you have basically users linked to pages and, and pages linked to users and so on. 
uh, what what you do is you convert this to, to a graph where they're only users by indirectly linking them to pages. So in this case, you have user 3, user 4, and user 2 being linked together. So you would basically have something like this, you know, user 4, 3, 2. Uh, you basically do this. I mean, you bet the software program that does this, so you just, it just gets done. And uh, you have a graph of users. So typically, this is basically the same procedure I use for, for our, my analysis of the uh, wiki as well. The, uh, the next paper here, Holloway, Bozicevich, and Bonner, uh, they studied Wikipedia, uh, another study of a wiki. They studied uh, not really users, but more the categories and how they link together semantically. They, uh, they also did a bit of analysis on, on who are the top authors in each of these categories. Uh, at Crowston, Houston, and Inouye, they, they're also quite, uh, they're from Syracuse University. They do quite a lot of open source research work as well. And uh, they studied a lot of, for this particular project, they studied a lot of data from SourceForge bug tracker data across many different projects and over different times. Um, they tried to find some kind of commonality uh, mathematically across projects and tried to uh, identify the, uh, 